Previously on the Digimon Tri Cup. Oh, is it what I think it is? Are you doing what I think One, you're doing? One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, Let's no. go. Oh no. Slam down superior mode. Taiki. Oh no. We're gonna bring out the lesser version. So we'll take the Sparrowmon that just got deleted. We'll take a Blistamon and an Omni Shout. Oh. So if you can't deal with a superior mode, how will you deal with the time seven? Hi, I'm Ben Ben. Now for those of you who don't know, the Digimon TCG is currently my favorite game to play at the moment. I even have a, a little bit of competitive success with it as well. I activate Marcus Damon's effect. Full charge! But that isn't enough. I need to hone my skills and make myself into an even better player. But to do that, I'm gonna need a rival. But thanks to my good friend Kyle, aka Ride My Avatar, we've come up with a brand new series for you guys. We call it the Digimon Tri Cup. Every video, we'll be bringing in our own proxy decks, up to date with whatever the latest support is available, and duke it out. Each video will give either of us a point, except we're adding a little brand new rule here. If there's ever a 5 point deficit between the person ahead and the person behind, the next win the player win achieves will receive 2 points instead of the 1. This will make it a little bit more interesting and a bit of a comeback factor for any player that falls behind. It's gonna be a fun little series where we try and see who will be victorious. The Digimon Tri Cup. Who do you think will win? Yeah, buddies, we got that W. We're closing up that gap, and hopefully we can keep it going with another fun extra man, actually, we're going to say. We're going to be going into a budget format where we're only going to be able to take cheap cards into it. So we're going to be doing a budget video because that was requested. Keep it under $50. Well, I kept it into the $36 range. So let's see what we can do with this $30 deck, shall we? Let's dive into the breakdown. I figured I'd bring the tried and true deck, none other than D Brigade. So I'm excited to play this deck. This deck is super aggro and it's another EX3 kind of deck, but we have a little spice teched in. Instead of playing Death X, we are teching in DG Dimensions. So when you would use this card, if you have a Black Tamer play, reduce the cost by one, bring it down to a seven, but D Digivolve three of your opponent's Digimon, then delete three of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost six or less. That's huge. So hopefully we can D Digivolve and maybe kill off a few ultimates that are probably six play cost. Other cards we got to take into account here is that the new Dark Dramon itself is really nasty, especially when you would Digivolve into this card. You may return up to five cards with D Brigade in their traits to reduce the G evolution cost by one for each card returned this way. When you would play another Digimon with D Brigade in its traits, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost less than or equal to the Digimon's played, unsuspend this Digimon. So as long as we can pop something in trade, really not a bad trade off there. So I'm excited to hopefully get the EX stuff to show off, but hey, if it doesn't show up, it doesn't show up. Other things from that, we do have the new Tank Dramon here. It helps fuel our graveyard, and hopefully we can get to it as soon as possible. Also, it's inheritable is when one of your Digimon would debrigade in its traits attacks, reveal the top two cards of your deck. You may play one Command Dramon among them without playing its play cost. Trash the rest, fuels the graveyard as well. But as long as we have Sealed Dramon underneath it, it gives it Rush. And I think outside of that, we're really solid here. I mean, we have Kongu, slow them down so they're not killing me. Really useful there. Ulti Flare, really useful, can apply a lot of pressure there. But all in all, we know what D-Brigade does. They cycle in, they trash themselves, they spit out more, and hopefully we can do some crazy shenanigans with this deck. So guys, are you ready for this event? Let's see what we can do. <sighs> well, I didn't have an answer to that Shaman Cross 7 superior mode. But hey, on the bright side, at least Kyle found his human potential. We're doing a special episode today, as requested from one of our comments. Can we have ourselves a budget episode? And yes, absolutely we can. We decided to make ourselves a budget of $50 or less, so we have to make sure that our deck is no more than $50, and I have just the deck for something like this. We are bringing in the Aegis Jermon, also known as the fish deck, but as I personally like to call it, one maelstrom coming right up. I mean, look at this Aegis Jermon. You can't tell me that both him and Maelstrom are not the same person. It, it, they basically look the same. Like, come on. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Maelstrom deck does, it is all about playing Aquas or Sea Beasts anywhere in its traits from underneath our Digimon sources. So, we'll be able to swarm the board with a whole bunch of Digimon and then just overwhelm our opponent and flood them like a great big tidal wave. Now, you might be seeing that there's like quite an amount of SRs in here, and with the Davises and Blue memory boost, is it really under $50? Because Blue is normally fairly expensive. 
expensive. Would you believe me if I told you that the new Davis Moira Mia is no more than $10? It's actually been reprinted in the new trial decks and it's hovering around $8 to $10 at the moment. The blue memory boost themselves are no more than $3 or so. And then we also have the Sora and Joe, which is hovering around $3 as well. So if we add all those prices up together at most from those tamers and blue memory boosts alone, we should be hovering at around $45 or so. And if you actually look up the age Jermon, it's literally less than a dollar. So let's just say we round it up and it's 50 cents each. We're going to be going up to what? $2? We are around $47. Everything else in the deck is either a common or uncommon. Literally pennies. Even Metal Siegemon from one of the older sets is 10 cents. So if anyone's going to tell me that this is over $50, they can fight me. But the deck also got some brand new cards as well that are no more than uncommons or less, all in BT12. I'm talking about the brand new hybrid support. Now, I know, I know, I know. This may look like blue hybrid, but it's not actually blue hybrids. It's a lot more cooler than that. The main hybrid that we want to look at is actually the Calamaramon. It has the effect where we can always evolve it on top of a tamer like always, but the main thing that makes it really good in my opinion is on attack we are allowed to play one of our digimon that is level three or lower from one of our blue digimons for absolutely free so more ways to get ourselves a lot more Digimon on the board and swarm the field. And it's not once per turn either, which if you guys remember what the Abijamon does, it allows us to unsuspend one of our Digimon. So we can even unsuspend her, allowing us to be able to use its when attacking effect again. The Randomon itself, it does have the pretty nifty ability of on evolution. As long as we place a level three blue Digimon from our hand underneath as a source, literally fueling the Calamaramon itself. It can also give it jamming, which means that if you go with the Calamaramon, it will have jamming and potentially swing twice and calling more Digimon out on the field. Very, very nice combo. Randomon herself is not an aqua or a sea animal, so unfortunately we will not be able to call her out for free, but at least she does have some pretty nifty effects. And hybrids are always very good in case we just need that extra swing for game. We also got the new Mermaidmon as well. It has the nice nifty ability of on evolution or on play. We're going to be able to tuck in any of our Digimon that are on the field underneath as its sources in order to gain two memory. So potentially if we get the Mermaidmon out for free, we're going to be able to get ourselves two more extra memory in order to extend our plays even further. And it also works on Evolve as well, essentially allowing us to go into an ultimate for only one cost. Very, very strong. Normally, the minus one on the board is can be considered relatively bad, but with how this deck likes to function, we're going to be able to get ourselves a relatively big board for very, very cheap. And speaking of very, very cheap, we didn't even go into the level six of this hybrid line as well. We have the Ancient Mermaidmon, which has the effect where on Digivolution, we're allowed to play any of our hybrids or anything that's aqua or sea animal from our sources for absolutely free. Very, very good for this deck considering that's all what it wants to do. And we even have a more powerful removal option called Great Maelstrom. I told you it was a Maelstrom deck, but at home, as long as we put one of our Digimon underneath any one of our other Digimons, which is very good for refueling our on-play effects, we're going to be able to reduce this cost by three, making it only six cost, and then we just send any one of our opponent's Digimon to the bottom of the deck. And this works in security, which is an incredibly strong removal option. I am so excited to play this deck, and let's go see if we can slap Kyle with a whole bunch of fish. Good luck. All right. Have fun. Best of luck to you as well. Digi gate open. Digi gate to open. And this hand is playable. Let's go. Hatch Mishimon. Uh, we'll Digivolve Mishimon into Commandramon to draw. Oh boy. And then we'll proceed to slam down a Commandramon. Ah, uh, give me three, I see. Hey, not gonna make it easy for me, will ya? All right. Well, then I'm going to draw for turn. I'm gonna hatch into a Bukamon. Bukamon's gonna evolve into Gomamon. Oh, this draw deck. Turn. Yes, sir. Crab Shack. I'm, I'm going to pay two to evolve Gomamon into Ebijamon. Draw a card. Then I'm going to pay three memory to evolve uh, Ebijamon into the Mega Siegemon. I'm fine with that. Draw for turn. Oh, we'll promote up. 1k Command Jamon goes for that hopeful of death. Security check. It is a 5k. You do, in fact, die. Whee! Reveal <laughs> one, two, Three. Oh my goodness! Commander Mon comes back! Oh man. And we'll do a 1k again! Yeah, I'd have figured. 3k, he do in fact die. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, and we'll go for a 5k Commander Mon this time. Um, oh man, he's he's really bringing in the speed, isn't he? And then, and then, and then! And I'll give then, you three. Jesus, can you chill? I try. No. These little dinosaurs are coming after you. 
Oh man, I'm moving Mega Siegemon up. Yep. Quite unfortunate, but I think I have only one thing I can do here. I'm gonna have Mega Siegemon attack your security uh, skill on attack. Uh, I can play one level three blue Digimon. I'm pretty sure that's the non errat Yeah, that is in fact how what it is, even when errated. I'll play the Gomon from my Cerasis for free. And also on play, when Gomon comes out, I do draw two cards. Okay. And then I will use Bukumon's effect. I then get to gain a memory. Okay. That is just a 7k at security stack. 2k. Ooh, we're getting there closer, boys and girls. I would anticipate it that I would be able to do that, but geez, geez, Louise. Oh, geez, Louise, why is he so fast? I'm going to pay three memory, Mega Siegemon into the Plesiomon draw card. Uh, on evolution, I do get to uh, play one blue level three or one level four or lower aqua anywhere and sea animal in there. Yeah. So I will bring out this aquatic Digimon. And then I believe after that, when it comes out, I get to put a blue Digimon from my hand underneath it. I'm actually going to put in a metal Digimon at the bottom of the source. Okay. And then a Digimon's effect, when it comes out into play, uh, one of my Digimon gets blocker, and when it comes out from one of my sources, I will also get to unsuspend. So I'll get this blocker, and he will also unsuspend. Okay. We'll go for hatch, digi, draw. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Commandermon swings 5k. I'll block this one. Okay. Commandermon swings 3k. Security check. Davis. I'll check the top three cards in my deck. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, I'll get the Mermaidmon into my okay. hand. And these two go to bottom deck. And then 2K. Security check. 5K. Mandermon. Stop getting into my Beachamons. <laughs> we'll put Izzy down. Reveal oh, one, two, three. All black. So we bet it on black. Very nice. It's your move. All right. Thank you, Davis, for sending me to three. I will unsuspend and I will draw. I'm gonna hatch into a Bukamon. Yeah, no, I have to do this, okay. I will pay two to evolve Gomamon into Ranamon. Okay. Draw a card. And on evolution, by placing one level three Digimon from your hand at the bottom of this blue Digimon, I can give it jamming. Uh, do I want to do that though, that's the question? Hmm, <laughs> good mm. question. No, I, I will, I will. I will um, put Crab on underneath, give it jamming. I will now evolve Ranamon into the Calamaramon for one okay. draw card. I'm gonna start off with a Plesiamon to swing at security. On attack, I get to play one of my blue level three Digimon from underneath. I will put a Grabmon. Okay. And then on play, I get to give that blue Digimon jamming. I will give this jamming. And as well, I get to put a level five or lower underneath. I will put the Waru Sijimon underneath. Okay. And now, that should be everything there. And then Bukamon will trigger to give me a memory. So I'm going back to one. Okay. So that is 11k jamming. Kongu! Oh. So does that mean... Oh, that's that's lame, dude. <laughs> that's lame. So, uh... <laughs> so now you're not touching me with anything and my Commandermon stays on board. So you better make a blocker, buddy. Uh, fine. I'm going to go into Dracomon. Draw a card. Why? Oy vey. Oy vey. Why is this... Such a pain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Calamaramon is Is it a level move. seven? Uh, it is is a cost six, but I will swing at your Digimon instead of your security, because I, I cannot swing at your security. And on attack, I'm allowed to play one blue level three Digimon from one of my blue Digimon evolution cards without paying the source cost. So I will play the Gomamon. Sure. And when Gomamon comes out, I am allowed to gain a memory thanks to the Warrior Digimon. So I will go to two. Yep. Did you draw cards off of the Gomamon for the on play? I did not, sorry. I draw two cards for Gomamon. Yes. You got any blockers on board yet? <laughs> Don't patronize me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Get the blocker up. There's one thing I can do. Calamaramon is going to fall for a three cost into the Mermaimon draw card. Effect of on play or on Digivolution. I get to place one of my blue Digimon underneath this Digivolution card to gain two memory. So I will put this underneath, and okay. I'll gain two memory, so put me back to one. Uh, I guess this is the only thing I can do now, can it? Okay, I'm going to pay three memory to evolve this uh, Mermaimon into another Plesiomon. Two, draw a card. On evolution, I'm allowed to play one of my sources out. War Seizure does not do what I thought it did. 
Okay. Uh, so the only thing I can do, unfortunately, is actually bring up the Abijamon. Okay. And then when he does come out, I will allow this to unsuspend and have blocker. Okay. So that is all I can do. Go ahead. Draw for turn. I'm going to promote up my... No, I'm not going to promote this up. Fair enough. But I'm going to use a new card. Nani? We're going to activate DG Dimensions. So... What does that do? This card, if I have a Black Tamer in play, reduce the cost by one, so it's a seven cost. So DDG Ball, three of your opponent's Digimon, and then delete three of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost six or less. So three okay. of your opponent's Digimon gets DDG Ball one. So I'm assuming it's these two. Yep. And then you delete six costs yep. or less? <gasps> no, my blocker! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Yep, three of them go bye-bye. Okay, I'm at four. Yep. I will unsuspend, and I will draw. I will move the Dracomon up. This is the only thing I can do now. Well, Yep, let's hope let's... no ultimate flares in the security. God. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Hybrid so. game status? Uh... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you burned your hybrids? Wait. Oh, darn! Apparently, I don't. Apparently, I don't have any. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unlucky. Pay three to go into Plesiamon here. Putting okay. me down to one. Draw a card. Yep. And then on evolution, I am allowed to put out a level four or lower aquatic or sea animal. Yep. I'll bring up the Calamaramon, and then I'm allowed to put something in and it'll underneath. I will put in the Warusidra. Yep. Did you draw the hybrid? No. <laughs> uh, I gained two memory thanks to the Bukamon and the Warrior Siegemon, respectively. All right, I'm going to swing at security for 11k. 11k! Oh, it dies. That's unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. That saved me. It did. It did. It did. Uh, we're going to pay three for a blue memory boost, putting me down to one. Yep. Check the top four cards on my deck. Oh, of course, there you are. Oh, you took way too long to show up. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, I'll put the Abidramon into my hand because I have to. Yep. Hard play it and call it a day. You see, we'll go to the bottom deck. Not yet. Not yet. Let's not get too excited. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll play hard. I'll play for five and call it a day. <laughs> uh, I'm going to choose the. I'll just give it self blocker. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Giving it self blocker is really nasty. Um, I'll promote up. Fair enough. Staring down death door is never fun. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> The man would have an army at his disposal. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go play blocker command Jermon down for four. Ooh, nice. Yep. And then play another command Jermon down. Okay, all right. We have a chance, ladies and gentlemen. We have a chance. All right. Unsuspend, and I will draw. Okay, I will hatch. Ukamon, evolve into Bedrekomon, draw a card. Where's the Aegis? <laughs> <laughs> Insecurity. <laughs> no. Can you get the Abidomon into security to get another blocker up? I was trying to try to go for a game, but I don't have Plessio. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Is there a way I can do this? Shouldn't be a way of sneaking Plessio back. Not into hand, but I have a better idea. I'm going to blue memory boost to put me to five. Okay. And then I'm going to show you a brand new card this time. I'm going to evolve Mega Siegemon into Ancient Mermaimon. Draw a card. Putting me down to zero. On evolution, I'm allowed to play. It's one a five cost? Nine. It's a five card. It's an ancient. Okay. <laughs> I can play one blue Digimon card with hybrid, aqua, or sea animal in any one of its traits without paying the memory cost. I will bring out the Mega Siegemon here. Sure. And when Mega Siegemon comes out, uh, thanks to the Bukamon and the Waru Siegemon and the Bukamon again, I do go to three memory. Okay. Ancient Mermaimon is going to swing at security still for so... 15k. It's Drachmon can swing, Ibidomon. Uh, sorry. These ones can yep. swing. We'll take that hit. All right. Calamaramon's going to swing at security for 6k. 2k blocker. Fair enough. I'm going to have Dracomon swing at security for 2k. We'll let it slide. Uh, 4k. All right. And then Ibidomon's going to 5k. Drachmon's dead, by the way. 4k oh, yep, to 2. Sorry. 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 Dracomon is dead. 2k block. All right. And then we did manage to finally draw the hybrid for game. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, that was a close one.
But when in doubt, just have it for game, baby. <laughs> that deck was honestly pretty fun to play. Granted, I didn't see Aegisdramon for the entire game, but all in all, not bad for under $50. And that makes that... 9 points for me. Kyle did manage to get a few little bit of points in order to catch up, but will he be able to catch up to 9 points now? I'm not sure, but we'll only find out in the next episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody!